All right. So we have the triple threat match for the United States title. Bobby Roode, Dolph Ziggler, and Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin being the U.S. champ coming in. Um, this is an interesting match because it looked like they were setting up towards Bobby Roode and Baron Corbin for their for their uh, feud. But Dolph Ziggler just gets put in. No real rhyme or reason behind it. Outside the fact that he was feuding with Bobby Roode beforehand, it looked like he was going after... Uh, and he was going after the U.S. titles. Dolph goes right for the pin. Real quick. Uh, so it, it's an interesting one because they put... And I like how they played it off on TV as well. That Bobby Roode and Baron Corbin were not happy about this factor of Dolph Ziggler just getting put into the match. No real rhyme or reason behind it. He's just there. Uh, in, in any way. So, it's uh, it's an interesting way to see where they uh, where this match will go. I'm assuming the match on Sunday will be pretty good. I've got Baron Corbin for the match, in the terms of my prediction. But again, we know the video game is probably a little bit better at predicting these than I am. Uh, so we'll see how everything plays off in the end. Uh, with everything, should be interesting. Uh, it'll be it'll be an interesting one, and it's one of those things with. Uh, it, it's what what's the big interesting thing about all this right now? Mainly is Bobby Roode's character, and I mean by character lack thereof since his main roster call up, like on NXT he had a well defined character everything in that sense, but it doesn't look like they're going that route. In any way, they have him just as a baby face for right now. I don't know if that's just to get over the whole singing to the glorious song or something like that. Though people in NXT sung sung to it anyway, uh, so I don't know where they're really going with this right now in the terms of his um, what is it? And just in the terms of what they're going for with everything. I'm not sure where they're going with it. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see where they go uh, where they go with Bobby Roode down the line here. And see if they give him like a more defined character, whether it be babyface or heel. As Bobby Roode goes for the cover, we're not we're not gonna have a qu that quick of a title match, are we? I don't think so. At least I don't think we will. Roode hits a knee drop. Dolph Ziggler Again, Dolph Ziggler's in that spot where people think he's heading out of the company again. Uh, they had that same thing last year as well where um, where they thought he was going to be leaving when he was facing The Miz for the Intercontinental title. But then he won the career versus title match. So that could just be another way of... Uh, playing off of something like watch Dolph Ziggler win the match on Sunday or something like that to get the United States title though he seems to be like in this flux of not being um oh, what is it not being in the real title picture and uh, even to the point that some fans probably have stopped caring to a certain degree about him like, he's been a great performer, everything in that, uh, on that side, but he's had so many start and stop pushes, and it looked like they could have gone places with him, but just decided not to. Uh, with everything. It's like, ah, uh, no, we're not, we're not gonna do that now. Or, or, or it's, it's like, it's like he gets a push, gets something big, and then it looks like he's gonna get a big push, but then it's like, ah, uh, no, we're... We're good, we're good, we're good. You, you got your moment type thing. It, it's done. You're done. As Ziggler hits a drop kick, missile drop kick off the second rope. Goes for the cover. Gets the one. Really only gets one, though the ref says he got two. Really only the one. So, 
Well, Bobby Roode going for the cover. I'm Baron Corbin. We're kind of just going through a few other things. Um, not much else in the news side of everything. Bobby Roode's going to roll out of the ring. Not really much about this either. We basically have had the exact same thing happen over the last couple weeks with um, <clears throat> oh, what is it? Uh, old Deep Six 2? No. Yeah, Bobby Roode outside the ring too. There was a good chance. There was a good chance there. Uh, but they've had this couple, uh, this thing over the last couple weeks. Basically, how they've been building it up is that you were going to have a match with uh, Baron Corbin and Bobby Roode. So Dolph Ziggler interferes, laying out both of them. Then you had Dolph Ziggler going up against Baron Corbin, and Bobby Roode lays out both of them. So they kind of had the same thing over the last couple weeks. Oh, Baron Corbin gone. And Dolph just goes right into a pin on Bobby Roode, even though he just, wow, he had just gotten <clears throat> the big move hit to uh, Baron Corbin. As Yes, Bobby Roode's going for the glorious DDT, and it's reversed. We got oh, into a pin, only gets a one. Only gets the one. Oh, Exploder suplex into the pin. Dolph kicks out at one. Kicks out really quick. And Baron Corbin applies the claw. The atomic claw. Okay. Oh, two? No, just two. Baron Corbin gets a two count. I'm Bobby Roode. So I had I had to look down for a brief second. So I missed the move that he did to Bobby Roode to get to that two count. Bobby Roode's taking a good majority of the punishment here in this match. Dolph til uh, floats over and hits the neck breaker. Baron Corbin's out. He's going for the pin on the on. Bobby Ruba only gets a one count. Again, the ref says two, but it looked like a one to me. And here he is, always apply a submission hole to him. An interesting variation of the camel clutch. And, nope. Dolph, Bobby Ruba is able to get out. But gets drilled with a big clothesline as Baron Corbin gets back in to uh, try to dispatch of uh, Dolph Ziggler. Sets him up on the top, on the on the ropes. Dolph going to the top and hits a famous or off the top rope. I, I, it was either that or a bulldog. But Baron Corbin's not having any of it. Decides to finish uh to not or is like pretty much done. It was not going to have any of it. As Dol he, he dispatches a Dolph. Dolph's heading outside the ring here. And again, Bobby Roode just gets knocked down. Baron Corbin with a pin and only a two count. Again, these guys feel like they've got Bobby Roode basically beaten. And again, another camel clutch and Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode is getting uh, put into camel clutch city right now. As swing and a miss. Swing and a miss from Dolph. As Bobby Roode gets out of it, <laughs> Dolph's just going to sit there in the corner. Uh, I like that. He, he should just sit right over there in the corner and wait. Oh, hits the zigzag on Bobby Roode. And, and Baron Corbin's down. One, two, and lo and behold, look who won the U.S. title. It is Dolph Ziggler. Oh, no. I, I, I could see this happening Sunday, though I have Baron Corbin in this match. But Dolph pulls it out here and gets the victory with a zigzag to Bobby Roode. Baron hitting the deep six at one point in the match. What do we have? They show the two count as well. 
And that was the last one. They don't even show Dol Dolph's move to finish off the match. And getting back the United States title, he has not held that belt in so long. It's been a while since he's had any, uh, the United States title around his waist. And he gets it back here tonight at Clash of Champions. 